So I'm making a small vi video presentation of my new version of pneumatic injection molding machine. So the previous design was using two guiding rod. Here there is three. So it's much smoother and very this part here it doesn't uh, go on the side so it's much better. Same design here. Uh, then I added two rods more on the side. Here you see there's four and here there's six. Then I modified the uh, placement for the valve, e electronic solenoid valve here. That's pretty much it. So it features SC63 by 250 millimeter. Basically, it's 63 millimeter wide hair cylinder with 25 centimeter of plunging. Uh, now it's electronic solenoid valve. Before it was um, it was the manual one with a lever. Uh, springs, yeah, I did not say before those springs. I did not use those. I use spring that go from here to the top. Uh, yeah, stainless steel rod. I used aluminium before, but here I use stain stainless steel. So the contact with this one, if you use a bit of lubricant, it's not wearing as much. Locking sleeves. These locking sleeves here, I uh, you just take a wrench and you can block it. So you can adjust by the size of your mold, you can adjust the height of the injection uh, cylinder. Yeah, Rex PID controller, it's this PID controller. You can go up to, I think it's like 350, but it's pretty much useless. Most of the time you will never pass 250 degrees Celsius. You can change to Fahrenheit if you want. Uh, two heat bands of 35 by 55, 35 millimeter wide, 55 height. Uh, in watt, it's 180 watt each. And uh, yeah, it's six M10 rods here on the side with a washer and nuts. Um, normally the pneumatic doesn't come with this part. It's, I made it with the lathe. All the three plate here was made with the CNC. So I'm gonna show example how it work. Here is a two part mold that I use for lead casting for fishing, but uh, I made a, a mistake in the design, so I use it just as an example of injection, but it's not really a useful part. For the air compressor I use two bar of pressure. You can use less more depending on the on the temperature of the plastic and the size of your mold too. It it influences how much pressure you need. You can go up to six bar but most of the time you won't go past two bars. It's pretty much useless. To adjust for the size of your mold, you need to unscrew the tray on the top using the wrench. So you push it up. You do the same on the bottom. Imagine your mold is this size, so you do like this. You screw it back. 
and you try to level so it, it need to be here I don't show an example but it need to be the same length here here and same on the third one behind Once it's done, you press it down like this, and uh, if it's everything is aligned, it will be very flat. And then you do the same for the top. The top one are made so when you take it up, the piston can can't push everything up. So you need to tighten this one too here. So you need to do the same on the three side. So whole view of the machine, it's PID controller, the button to put it down so it goes down. The solenoid valve here can be adjusted. So basically you can make it go down faster and you can adjust the speed to go down and to go up on the two sides. Most of the time it's it's better to for it not to go fast on the two uh, going down and on top so you can anticipate in case you forgot something or you know like if you you should never put your hand here but in case for some reason you press the button you have your hand here with the noise you can you have time to move so it's better not to be too fast so I'll put um, the settings I like the most like 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 it is right now and um, but yeah it can be adjustable so That's all for the machine.